Hi, I'm Stephen Tallamy. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I developed one of the thematic elements of the independent movie, Asking God. As I mentioned in an earlier film, one of the themes was a variation of The Lord's My Shepherd, which I used to bring out the Christian element of the story. So let's look at one of the first statements of this theme uh, in one of the early cues. I'll just play a quick bit of The Lord is My Shepherd's theme in its normal form. One of the key things of that theme is probably the interval of the six. Very idiomatic. And then there's that phrase over the top. So those are the first parts that we're going to hear in this. So there's that starting part of the melody. It's not the entire things, but it's the, some of the key elements of it. And now what you'll see as I continue to play back this cue is you'll see an introduction of the daughter's theme. So quite a simple statement of the theme. I think if you were listening to this and didn't know the context, you'd kind of think that seems familiar, um, but you might not quite know. And that was actually what I was trying to do with this theme was build it out and not allow the audience to exactly know uh, where, the, where the theme was coming from. Let's take a look at the orchestration. And most of my cues in this film are quite simplistic in their orchestration. It's mostly piano led. And then there's some basic orchestration underneath that. And that was actually quite deliberate for the film because the film is very intimate. It's a, it's a family story. It doesn't have big epic sweeping shots. It doesn't have lots of action scenes. And there weren't really many times where we really needed to bring the aperture open. And so I didn't really go for a very large orchestration. Within my template, I had the chamber strings from Spitfire Audio. You'll see here I've got the flautendos on the violins the violas, the celli, and the basses. So all the way across, we're doing flautando in this uh, particular piece. In addition, I've got a few other tracks down here. So as I mentioned in the first film, I wanted to use the LCO textures. So we've got the textures grid here loaded up. And then we've got a bit of the British drama toolkit, and I really like the sound of this. Let's just play that back, because I really like the fragility of this library. So that gives a really nice additional texture on top of the main strings. Let's just listen to the strings on their own. very simple uh, part there. There are a couple of other elements to the orchestration here. You'll see I've got the slow attack rhythm here. This is from the Oliver Arnold's toolkit. Let's give that a little playback. So a lovely breathing texture there. And those are really the main elements of how we see the theme in this particular instance. Let's switch to another track. So in this scene, there is a prayer going on. So I really wanted to have some choral effects. Uh, you can see I've got the Eric Whitaker choir loaded up here. So let's have a look at where the Lord is my shepherd's theme evolves in this piece. Thank you. 
So you can see here in this particular scene, it's very quiet. It's very slow statement of that theme. Uh, so you can see I'm accompanying that with even quieter strings than the chamber strings. These are the neo strings. And you can see I'm using the super saltasto and super flotando to really get a very light sheen over this track. So let's go and have a look at another statement of this theme. So this is a scene that's a little bit later in the movie. Actually, why I wanted to play this back is because I've brought a different piano sound into it. This is the family piano, and this was an instrument that I sampled and put on pianobook.co.uk, so you can download it. There'll be a link in the description below. I really do like the noir piano from Native Instruments, but I really wanted to bring this instrument in at some point during the soundtrack, and this seemed to be the right moment. So let's have a listen to that part. So you'll see the orchestration is very similar. You can see I'm using the chamber strings again, the neo strings and that British drama toolkit. So very similar kind of ideas. The main difference in this one is having that family piano over the top, which I think is a really beautiful, charming sound at the top of its register. So let's go to the last version of the theme, which happens almost at the very end of the movie. So in this version, we're actually going to hear the full theme. It starts on piano and then it moves over to the oboe. So let's just hear the first part of the track. This time again I've switched the strings over, this time using the Albion Tundra Frozen long strings, which I thought were a really beautiful underpinning. Now let's talk a little bit about the oboe part because there are two versions of this that I have in this particular project. The version that actually appears in the track as it's in the film is using the Spitfire Symphonic Woodwinds. So let's have a quick listen to the oboe solo. So what you'll see is I've used the modulation and expression throughout this to give it a reasonably convincing sound. Let's listen to it in context of the piece. So it's, it's not too bad, it's actually quite good and within the movie you can't really tell but one thing I really wanted to do was get a live musician into the score. Now unfortunately due to the whole Covid situation I wasn't able to get the recording done in time however I decided that for the soundtrack release I would actually get a version recorded by an oboe player. So you can see here I've got the notation here that I sent over to the oboe player and let's have a listen to the difference it makes with the live oboe. And actually I've got a number of different takes here from the oboe player. In the end I used take five. So let's listen to the whole track, but as I have it with the live oboe. And I think you'll agree, it sounds a lot better.
So after two statements of the Lord is my shepherd, I then bring back some of the other elements of the score, including the daughter's theme. What I really intended with this cue was to reveal to the audience what I've been doing throughout the rest of the soundtrack to give them those little hints of the theme and then reveal the whole thing at the end and I think it worked out really well and this gives a quite nice rounding off. There is one more cue after this one uh, however I really wanted to sort of round off the main part of the story arc at this point with these themes. I want to say a massive thank you to Sylvia Elliston for recording that oboe part during lockdown. It certainly elevated that cue. I would love to hear your thoughts and questions, so please do use the comments section below. How do you approach thematic development in your writing, and how do you avoid it becoming repetitive for the listener? If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.